For 100 years, uh, cars uh, had uh, four wheels, an engine, a steering wheel. All of a sudden, um, the advent of AI uh, inserted into cars is going to bring life into cars. So cars will be able to drive by themselves and they will drive us. In the first uh, few years, uh, it will be a collaboration between us and the car. Today, we don't have any self-driving vehicles. So what uh, we can do with the uh, AI system is to provide driving assist uh, solutions. In the old days, uh, the best way to keep a driver attentive was to resort to listening to music for a while, uh, rolling down the windows, uh, drinking some coffee. But all of those uh, have a limitation. The important thing is that uh, you as a driver uh, have to think and speak. And if you do, that uh, wakes up uh, your brain. The best way to keep a driver attentive is to have a personalized conversation uh, powered by AI, where this uh, computer behaves like a friendly passenger. So you don't want to have a cop sitting next to you. You want to have somebody who gently, discreetly, sometimes forcefully warns you about what is happening to make sure that you have a chance to react and then prevent an accident. So as we approach the fully autonomous uh, vehicles, the, what uh, happens is that uh, the driver is uh, no longer in control, ever. Uh, the cars uh, will have uh, no steering wheel, no pedals, so they will just uh, go to destination once uh, you say where, where you want to go. At the same time, as the car carries you, it can also take care of you. The same way you would uh, with uh, your little son. You monitor the son, you make sure that the son is doing fine, and then something happens, uh, you take action. The car may do the same thing.